Well, how fitting. A day which started bright and early for Bison fans going to Sports Center on the road this morning at the Fargo Dome. The game comes down to the final play. North Dakota State and Northern Iowa always put on a show, and today would be no different. What proved to be an exciting finish started off on the poor side for the herd. On UNI's first possession, a third down play, Sawyer Cole Morgan goes to Darius Fountain, 67 yards, and the crowd is stunned. UNI with the early 7 nothing lead after a Bison field goal. Carson Wentz, well, this isn't exactly a highlight. It's... More of a low light. He's picked off for the first time this year. And the Panthers return it inside the 20-yard line. It puts them in business. It will set up this. Michael Malloy on fourth and goal. He leaps into the end zone, and it is a 14-3 game. The Bison, though, get one back right before the half. Wentz rolls out and hits Jeff Ilias wide open for the score. It would make it a 14-10 game at the half. Move into the second half now. Fourth quarter specifically, and Jed Reese here featured on Sports Center this morning, just his second career catch, and it's good to give the buys in the lead their first of the game and buckle up. We are nowhere close to finish. Just a minute 37 later, UNI takes the lead back on this seven-yard touchdown run, 21-17, until Carson and company go back to work. Carson goes up top to Darius Shepard. He didn't play at all in the first half because of a shoulder injury, but when they needed him, he comes up clutch. The 33-yard pass gives the buys in the lead but on the very next play from scrimmage Aaron Bailey who came into the game because Cole Morgan couldn't pass concussion protocol at halftime goes 83 yards for the score and the Panthers take back the lead after a Panther missed field goal now with under a minute remaining Carson Wentz connects with the Shepherd once more in the corner the score gives NDSU the three-point lead and all they have to do is defend the Hail Mary. What do you do on the Hail Mary? You knock it down. What do the Bison do on the Hail Mary? They knock it down, and the Bison win an incredible football game. Wow. Let's go to Valley News Live Sports Director Beth Hool at the Fargo Dome after this awesome game. Beth? Hey, Alex, what a football game. 31-28, NDSU wins big time on homecoming over Northern Iowa. Another fourth quarter drive by Carson Wentz, and this time it's Darius Shepard on the receiving end in the end zone. Darius Shepard hurt all week with a shoulder. The trainers told Chris Kleiman he would have one half with Darius Shepard, and he should pick. Well, he picked right. He picked second half, and what a game it turned out to be. Oh, man, kid's an animal. Um, I've been saying all week he's a warrior. Um, we've seen him in practice, and he's, you can tell he's hurt, but he's just out there competing. And um, ever since the game, man, I've been saying, what, what if the kid would have played the whole game? You know, the kid was balling just uh, in the second half there, and he made some plays and um, loved the kid to death. I had my, my mobility. Uh, Carson was looking for me. He said, you know, before the play, keep your, get your eyes around. So, you know, I was ready to try to make a play. Saw the ball up in the air. Really had to lock in, like catch it, catch it, you know, and then try to make the play, and it was awesome. Well, after the game, Shepard saying there's no pain when you're in the end zone. Your teammates are rushing at you and the crowd's going wild. They certainly did, and they certainly had reason to. An outstanding game here in Fargo as you and I and NDSU take it down to the wire. 31-28, NDSU on top as they continue to roll. Now improved to 4-1 in one on the season with South Dakota up next. For now, from the Fargo Dome, Beth Houle, Valley News Live Sports. All right, thank you very much, Beth. You're right, an absolutely incredible game. 31-28, the final. Carson Wentz is 26 of 40 through the air with 335 yards, four touchdowns, and a pair of picks. Darius Shepard, well, he made three catches, but two of them were touchdowns. The Bison improve, as Beth said, to 4-1 and one overall and 2-0 and oh in Missouri Valley Conference play. Northern Iowa drops to 2-3 two and 0-2 and, oh and two in the Valley. Next up for the Bison, the Coyotes from South Dakota, one week from today at the Dome. And be sure to join us tomorrow for the Coach's Show tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. on KX4. It would be great to hear what Coach has to say about this.